Call to order the February 12, 2018, the Trump City Council meeting. Please stand for the pledge of the flag. <coughs> January 8, 2018 meeting be approved and accepted and permitted to remain on the secretary's desk where they will be available for reading and inspection to anyone. May I have a second, please? Madam Mayor, I second that motion. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Forrest. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Um, any questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. At this time, may I ask for it, I ask for an approval of the fiscal department reports and paid bills for the month of January 2018. I'll make a motion, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Martha. May I have a second, please? I will second that. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Any questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> motion carries unanimously. Uh, at this time, uh, this is the citizens request portion of the meeting related to items on the agenda. Are there any citizens in the audience that would like to address council? Please go to the microphone, state your name and address. And if citizens wish to speak at this time, we will move on. Committee reports, finance, we don't have anything <coughs> right now. Public safety and public works. No, Madam Mayor, I think we're due to meet next month, so yeah. we'll have one for you then. Uh, personnel? Nothing, Madam Mayor. Uh, events? Nothing. Parking, nothing? Nothing. Okay, nothing going on. We can all go home. I was hoping my dad would be here, so I'll wait in case he shows up. Uh, board and authority reports. Anything? Nothing new, Mayor. No. Um, nothing, nothing new with parking rack, although. Um, my term's up, so later on in the agenda, I'll be appointing um, new members to committees as well as to some of the various organizations. Um, we'll do that later in the agenda. There he is. We're at board and authority reports just now. So I wanted to take this opportunity to recognize. Dad, can you hear me? Yeah. I want to take this, we're, we're at board and authority reports right now. So I wanted to take this opportunity while we're talking about boards and authorities to recognize you and thank you for your 35 years of service to the Latrobe Water Authority. Um, as you all know, my dad, Mr. Moth, uh, resigned in January um, from the Latrobe Municipal Authority after serving 35 years uh, on that board and uh, I didn't want it to go by unrecognized so I just wanted to thank you dad for your years of service and uh, we really appreciate the hard work we all know we've got some of the best water and best water rates in western Pennsylvania so at this time if you would please stand up and be recognized thank I enjoyed you every, every I 
I want to thank everybody for they did a good job. We got the best water and everything in in the state, and they did a lot of things. So I'm happy to leave too. <laughs> you had enough? <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Um, <clears throat> department reports. Um, Mike. Yeah, just uh, just two things real quick. Uh, just want to let everyone know that uh, you know we've been busy the past month or two dealing with the snow, uh, a lot of uh, unique weather uh, that was upon us. Uh, just wanted to pass it on to my guys. They did a great job of clearing the snow, uh, salting the streets, uh, getting everything um, you know ready to go for the people traveling to work. Uh, you know, on, the, on that note, we're dealing with uh, the potholes now. You know, there are uh, and then never any battles. So if there's any. Uh, Complaints or anything, feel free to uh, you know call us, let us know because we can't be everywhere at the same time. So uh, you know it helps from the community out there. Uh, one other thing is um, working with LMA on um, digging up behind the Roman Italiano. I don't know if you recall last year uh, we ended up cameraing that section of pipe. Uh, it's a stormwater pipe that ran from the sulfur run uh, behind the Roman Italiano. Well, we found it was collapsed, so we were going to deal with uh, with that this year by doing something different by uh, putting another line in, redirecting the water to another location. But uh, since LMA was at that location digging up the area from a, um, a, uh, a different issue for a repair on their uh, sewage line, you know, they're at our exact spot of uh, where our collapse is at. So uh, Lloyd Excavating is the contractor. You know, we've been currently digging for the past uh, week. We finally got to our area. Uh, but what the holdup is now, there's uh, there's a lot of backup of water because over over the years we got about two weeks or two blocks worth worth of uh, water that's backed up away from a road Italiano to have a D that has to be pumped out, drained until we can get in there and fix the pipe. Uh, now the pipe is definitely collapsed or broke. It's uh, there's probably a good so far about 20 maybe 10, well, between 10 and 20 feet of broken terracotta pipe. So. Once we get the water out, uh, we're going to go down, see what we got, repair the pipe. And once that's repaired, it's going to solve also the issue of all the flooding at uh, Avenue A, uh, Wagner Street, Ligonier Street, where we've been having um, you know, uh, flooding all the time there. So, uh, so I'll keep everyone posted, and uh, so that's what's going on at the current time. So what do you do in your spare time, Mike? <laughs> uh, no, I'll try to sleep when I can. And, uh, but uh, the, 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 snow, the snow runs, maybe I'll just give you a little bit of statistics. Uh, so far between the month of January and so far this February, we did 26 uh, salt slash plow runs. Uh, we consumed over, a little over 600 tons of uh, salt and 2,000 gallons of liquid uh, calcium. So it's been a tough winter. You know, the, the storm's very unique from you know, rain, you know, to uh, freezing rain, to ice, to snow. So it's not as simple as it was this morning, unknown that I, I didn't know we were going to get that much this morning. So, you know. Nobody uh, did. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, you know, to, on something like today, where the sun came out, it warmed up, it melted off within a couple hours compared to the sub zero temperatures we've been having and uh, the difficulty, you know, with the salt melt. So. Well, thank you to you and your staff. We know that um, it's tough and. <clears throat> You don't have a lot of people, and you guys do a great job, and, and we really do appreciate it. So make sure you let your staff know that we, we know that they're out there early in the morning and late at night when the rest of us are sleeping, and we greatly appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Chief Boomer? Uh, nothing you important, Madam Mayor. Chief Brazili? Uh, nothing. Ann? I have nothing to All righty. Moving right along. Administrative and Finance Act. Item 10A1 on the agenda is the ordinance to establish wages, hours, and fringe benefits of positions of the City of Latrobe for fiscal year 2018. Uh, these wage changes um, will be backdated to the beginning of this year, and specifically, they address the uh, salary and benefits of the City Manager, Director of Police Department, Director of Public Works, Code Enforcement and Zoning, and the Director of the Fire Department and fire chief. May I have a motion to adopt the ordinance as outlined by the solicitor? So moved. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. May I have a second, please? I'll second. Thank you, Mr. Bartels. Any questions or discussion? 
Ms. Payton? Mr. Baldonieri? Yes. Mr. Bartel? Yes. Mr. Martha? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Ms. Weller? Yes. Mayor Walker? Yes. Uh, the next item on the agenda is a uh, resolution. Um, it's a resolution that's prepared by Berkheimer. Um, I won't read the entire name of the resolution because it's literally a paragraph. However, it authorizes the city's uh, secretary as the authorized representative to request and receive tax information from Berkheimer. Uh, this resolution is required because it contains confidential information, so there needs to be um, documented proof that the secretary is the authorized agent for that information. May I have a motion to adopt the resolution as outlined by the solicitor? I'll make that motion, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Forrest. May I have a second, please? I'll second. Thank you, Ms. Weller. Questions? <clears throat> Ms. Payton? Mr. Baldinieri? Yes. Mr. Murtha? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Ms. Weller? Yes. Mr. Bartels? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mayor Wolfer? Yes. Uh, the next item on the agenda is uh, a resolution appointing members of the Latro Industrial Development Authority Board. Specifically, this resolution would appoint Joseph R. Dietrich uh, as a member to the board with his term to expire on January 31, 2023. We have a motion to adopt the resolution as outlined. So moved. Thank you. Mr. Baldieri, may I have a second, please? Second. Thank you, Mr. Bartels. Questions? Payton? Mr. Murtha? Yes. Ms. Weller? Yes. Mr. Baldonieri? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Bartels? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Mayor Walker? Yes. Uh, the next item is a resolution appointing member to the Latrobe Municipal Authority Board. Specifically, this resolution would appoint John Fournier uh, to the unexpired term of Charles Moth with said term to expire on January 31, 2019. May I have a motion to adopt the resolution as outlined by the solicitor? So moved. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. May I have a second, please? I'll second. Questions? Ms. Payton? Mr. Bartels? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Ms. Weller? Yes. Mr. Baldonieri? Yes. Mr. Murtha? Yes. Mayor Wolford? Yes. Um, this item on the agenda indicates that it's appointing members. So the next uh, resolution is again to appoint a member to the Latrobe Municipal Authority Board. Specifically, this resolution will appoint Charles Dominic to, as a member to the uh, uh, Latrobe Municipal Authority uh, with his term to expire on January 31, 2023. May I have a motion to adopt the resolution? I'll make that motion. Thank you, Mrs. Weller. May I have a second, please? I'll second that, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Forrest. Questions? Ms. Weller? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Murtha? Yes. Mr. Bartels? Yes. Mr. Baldmere? Yes. Mayor Wolfer? Yes. The next is a resolution item appointing a member to the Latro Planning Commission. Specifically, this resolution would appoint Jen Jones as a member of the Commission with her term to expire on January 31, 2022. May I have a motion to adopt the resolution? I'll make that motion. May I have a second? Thank you, Mr. Bartel. May I have a second, please? I'll second. Thank you, Ms. Weller. Questions? Yeah, on my sheet it says to the Lake Trinity Municipal. No, the next one down, Planning Commission. Oh, wait a minute. You're talking about the, the resolution. The resolution yeah. itself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just noticed oh, in section one that there's a typo there, so uh, we'll have that changed for the for uh, the mayor's signature. Thank you for catching that. So we're going to the planning commission? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says planning commission in the heading, but it says right. in section yeah, one, it says, that. okay. So, <laughs> as amended. <laughs> uh, Mr. Murtha? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Baldonieri? Yes. Mr. Bartels? Yes. Ms. Weller? Yes. Mayor Wolfer? Yes. Uh, 
the next item on the agenda is a resolution appointing an alternate delegate to the Westmoreland County Tax Collection Committee. Uh, this delegate would serve, serve for a term of one year to expire on December 31, 2018. Uh, any motion to approve the resolution made by council would have to include the person that they uh, would like to appoint. So we have no uh, applicant at this point, correct? Correct. Uh, it has been a member of council in the past. Oh, it has been a member of council in the past? Yes. Anyone want to volunteer? What's this? What do you do? I don't know. The committee uh, oversees, uh, you know, they selected Berkheimer in the past. Um, there's probably not going to be too many meetings this year, but um, in the, it's when their contract comes up again, you may get involved in selecting whether or not to stay with Berkheimer or go with another collection agency for the uh, EIT tax. But this person is an alternate, so does that mean if somebody else doesn't come, that person comes? I mean, they're right. like an alternate joint. Yeah, I, it's me, <laughs> actually it's me, you, and the alternate. Oh, I'm already on it? Yeah. Oh. Then I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. All right, then I, I appoint Mr. Kelly. Is that how that works? Uh, you would make the motion. I make the Mr. motion. Mr. Kelly, and it's part of the resolution. To appoint Mr. James E. Kelly. I'll second that. As, as part of the motion. I'll second that, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Martha. Any questions? Ms. Payton, Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Baldwin. Yes. Mr. Murtha. Yes. Mr. Kelly. I understand. <laughs> Mr. Bartell. Yes. Ms. Weller. Yes. Mayor Wolford. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Uh, Madam Mayor, I do have one question. Is this a, count, uh, a committee that is with the county? In other words, so when right. you say the contract is coming up, it would actually have to be a <coughs> county <coughs> voter, unanimous vote if exactly. we wanted to switch. Yeah, the representatives there at the committee are from all of the townships and school districts in West County. Okay. Uh, the next item on the agenda is an ordinance. This ordinance is entitled Amending Section 3-4 or 3-48 of Chapter 3 of the Administrative Code Fee Schedules, specifically Schedule C, Transfer Station Service Rates. Uh, what this ordinance will do is it will update our transfer station service rates by um, updating the cost that it will um, that will be charged for municipal waste it will increase the charge to $107 per ton okay. may I have a motion to adopt the resolution the ordinance ordinance may I have a motion to adopt the ordinance is that one so moved can I have a second please I'll second, second that Madam thank you any questions Mr. Murtha? Yes. Ms. Weller? Yes. Mr. Bartels? Yes. Mr. Baltineri? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Mayor Wolford? Yes. Uh, moving on to police department, the last action item on the agenda is an ordinance. Uh, this ordinance would amend the City of Latrobe Code Chapter 256 Vehicle and Traffic. Uh, this is one of the end of year or beginning of year ordinances that we do to update the vehicle and traffic code uh, as, a relation, or as it relates to temporary changes that we made throughout the year by way of motion. Uh, so what this ordinance does is it ratifies uh, the previous decision that council made um, with regard to um, parking restrictions on Ligonier Street and um, as well as on West First Avenue. Uh, and it also um, includes a uh, fee reduction for commercial parking uh, throughout the year on the top uh, rung of the the uh, parking <coughs> the, the parking garage for so commercial entities. Is this an ordinance? Yes, it is. Okay. May I have a motion to uh, adopt the ordinance that's outlined by the solicitor? So moved. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Second, please. Second. Thank you, Mr. Bartels. Questions? I do have a question, Madam Mayor. On uh, item three, is this ordinance ratifying the reduction to $25 for last April through September, or is it creating a reduction from this April to September of, of 2018? It's uh, every year from April through September. It's not uh, qualified for a single year. 
So your question is, are we, retro we have to retro? In other words, if we're doing it by ordinance, as I understand it, this ordinance ratifies what happened basically last year, but doesn't, and, and I'll defer to the solicitor, it, it, it didn't appear to also apply to this forthcoming. We just have to do it again is all we have to do. Uh, the, what was previously done by council last year, and, and the way that this is written, it doesn't restrict it to one okay. year. It's okay. going to be in the code book moving forward for every year. Until we change it. Until it's changed in the okay. future or removed. Thank you. Any other questions? Ms. Payne? Mr. Baldinieri? Yes. Mr. Bartels? Yes. Mr. Murtha? Yes. Mr. Forrest? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Ms. Weller? Yes. Mayor Wolford? Yes. That concludes the agenda items. Do we have any unfinished business items that anyone would like to bring up? Okay, under new business, I'd like to um, talk about our committees and um, and make some committee appointments. I appreciate everybody's re response back to me on the email. Stop me, I didn't get an answer from you because your email I doesn't work, but I kind of figured out where, where you'd like to be in. And if you don't like it, you can tell me about it and maybe switch around. But if anybody's really unhappy with what I tried, you know, I tried as best I could to accommodate everyone's requests, but you know, in some cases we have a lot of people wanting to be on one committee or another. So one of the things I did change this year um, is I, I decided to split public works separate from public safety slash fire. Because I realized we really didn't have any committee that dealt with, you know, the fire departments or the, you know, I mean, I know we have two firemen on here, but I still thought that we should have a committee that represents public safety safety, which includes the police and the fire. So I separated those two committees. Um, so what I have here is under finance, uh, myself and Mr. Kelly, thank you, no one ever wants to do that committee, Mr. Kelly, so thank you for that. Um, under public safety and fire, I had uh, Mr. Forrest and Mr. Kelly. Under public works, Mr. Bartels and Mr. Baldinari. Under personnel, I have Mr. Murtha, Mr. Baldinari, and myself. Under events, I have Ms. Weller, Ms. Weller. And, and um, Jack, I left you on GLSD showcase by yourself, if, if that's okay. Anybody that wants to, I mean, if there's any other committees you want to serve on, or um, something you don't really want to do, then just reach out to me and we'll try to flip it around. Um, as the, on the, um, Julie's served as the council representative on the library board, so I'd like to appoint Eric Bartels as the city council representative on the Adams Memorial Library Board. Um, I'd like to appoint Jerry Baldinari as the representative on the Park and Rec Commission, and Christine to serve again on the revitalization committee. I have that written down if you can get it all, Holly, so I'll give it to you if you can read my <laughs> handwriting. So, any questions, concerns, discussions? We can talk about it at the um, agenda front meeting in February if there's something you want to change. Or, okay? I would like you to think about, you know, setting some objectives for your committees. Um, and I, you know, just talking to, you know, the, the people that, that your committees represent and maybe trying to figure out some some um, objectives for the year. That's all I have. Anybody else have any new business? Okay, at this point in time we have our citizens request portion of the meeting for any other discussions. If anyone from the audience would like to say anything or address the council, now's your opportunity. Yes, ma'am. Uh, first of all, state your name and address, please. Joyce Graham, 1008 Alexandria Street, Metro. Okay. Um, this is my first time here. I, I had a very hard time finding out when the meeting takes place. Uh, is there a way that the citizens can find that out? It's advertised in the newspaper. It's on the website. And it's on our sign-off sign front. Okay. All right. Um, and you can call. I mean, if you call, if you call the city offices. Yeah, I eventually came and asked. Yeah. 
but it's advertised every every month in the in the newspaper or meetings of the second second Monday of every month. Yeah, I kept trying to find it in the newspaper. Oh. I must have missed it. Um, Excuse me one second. Well, I was just going to say uh, all of our meetings are advertised usually during, at the beginning of the year, and we advertise once for the entire year. Yeah, but I've seen it in the paper other times under under every Saturday. Every Saturday. I've noticed it in the paper every Saturday. Hmm. Yeah. yeah we have we'll a, ask our bulletin representative here, yeah? Yeah, we have a meeting a meeting list on page, it's usually A10 every Saturday. Okay, thank you. Um, all this, all the committees, and I'm sorry, I, I don't understand anything. That's okay. Can the t townspeople get on committees? Yeah, I mean, it's possible if you have an interest in working with one of the committees, the residents are certainly welcome to, to um, approach us and see if you're interested in a specific committee. We're always looking for volunteers and people to get involved and engaged. That's what I read in the paper, that they were requesting more citizens come to the meetings. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. We're looking for people's input and, you know, um, be happy to hear what you're interested in doing. Um, so we can, we can talk more. Okay. Um, I have another concern. Um, this is with the police department. I um, on Alexandria Street twice when I was outside. Look, this has, hasn't been this winter. It was, it's been in the summer. Uh, police cars have come up Spring Street at a very high rate of speed and not stopped at the stop sign on Alexandria Street and continued at a high rate of speed. There were no um, lights flashing. But my concern is there are a lot of kids that play right on that street. And <laughs> I'm afraid somebody's going to get hit. I did call the chief of police and left lengthy messages twice, and they were not returned. I have a friend that also called twice, and those messages were not returned. So do you, who do you call? I mean, because what, who are you calling? Because our, our. I called and said, push. This for oh, okay. When I left the message with the chief of police. Okay. okay, we'll look into that. Um, anything else? Not yet. <laughs> um, one other question I had. Do we have any other vacant, do we have any vacant board and authority positions currently? Are they all I think they're filled? all filled, yeah. Okay. Boy, I don't know when that happened last. It seems like it's been a while. Yeah. I believe we I'll have to look and see, but I, I thought all the, all the boards, the, the main boards are filled, and I think most of the alternates, but I can check. Yeah, I just also wanted to mention Mr. Forn, Fournier, I don't know how you pronounce that exactly, uh, that we appointed to fill the unexpired term of my dad. Uh, he wanted, he had planned to be here tonight. He was out of town. He was hoping to get back before the meeting, but he wasn't sure he was going to be. Um, he is a um, superintendent in, in lives up on Spring Street or Weldon Street or something like that. Just recently moved to the area and was interested in getting involved. He, some of you may notice he ran for school board um, in the last school board election. So, uh, Was he looking at a particular board? Or? He's the guy which is supported to LMA. I mean, he could still serve on some of the other boards if he wanted to. No, we're going to be an alternate on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it just okay, made me think of something. No, it just made me think. I'm thinking of this lady back here who's interested in serving on okay. getting more involved. What's, are there any board, board positions that are still available? Or, or, yeah, you know, I can take your information on yeah. that. Yes, ma'am. I noticed um, you said so and so is on the board. It is, so it's more than one person. Yeah, we have several boards. Here, um, by which you know we have a park and rec commission board that handles all the park and recreation. We have a municipal authority board that deals with water and sewage. Um, we have a library board. Uh, we have a representative of council that sits on the library board, but also representatives of the community sit on, can sit on that board. We just don't appoint them. Um, so yeah, there's a variety of different ways. Yeah, park and rec. Revitalization. So, yeah, there's several. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for your interest.
Uh, anything else from the citizens? Uh, city manager's report. Just one real quick. Uh, starting next week, uh, there'll be construction will begin on the bridge again. Yippee! You notice the equipment, the construction equipment started to back up over here, so start getting ready. And the gas lines, uh, I saw it to the gas company, and their pipe and that will be in next week. And all they need is two days of warm weather, because they don't want to turn the gas off in the cold weather. Well, we appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I think they would appreciate it. Madam Mayor, just a question. Is, is there any change or update to the uh, completion time have you heard anything or anyone else on the council i don't know what they was the last, last i think the last uh it was going to be at or around memorial Today. if you remember our last meeting <laughs> they said mid-june yeah and i kind of my hair kind of my head kind of exploded and I said, no, you said Memorial Day. Oh, no, no, we never said Memorial Day. So fortunately, someone, and I think it was Jared Trunzo, sent me the Tribune Review article, and it said that in there. So I forwarded it to them. <laughs> and they responded that that is correct, that they're hoping to. But again, it's weather dependent. I mean, and we recognize that. But their target and their goal is the end of May. They, they had also talked to you, Mike, I believe, about maybe working through the night in, there's a there's a little sweet spot where they thought they might be able to work 24 hours for a while but we're concerned about bothering neighbors but if, you know all of you know there's really aren't any neighbors right around there so that shouldn't be a problem so um, hopefully you know everything will go according to plan and we won't be rerouting the 4th of July again yeah that's what they swore up and down wouldn't <laughs> Wayne is the bridge uh, going down one lane at this point or is that yeah, the bridge will be one lane. Uh, they're going to be using, of course, a new lane, you know, that new mm -hmm. side. But, uh, and, and again, when the gas company does their water line, they're going to shut off the whole bridge for, for two, two days. days. Yeah, for two days. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, well. Are they going to give us some good notice? Yeah, they should. Yeah. They've, they've been, actually, they wanted to do it last summer, but because of things that were in their way, they couldn't. Well. Just keep telling yourself that, you know, we won't have to do this again for 50 years, so it'll be somebody else's problem. <laughs> Anything else, Wayne? That's it. I have nothing else under the mayor's report. Um, so if there's nothing, what are you laughing about? I'm afraid you break down when it's done. I know, yeah, that's right. It's the way it is. It's like Mother Nature. We have no control over it. And you got the rolling rock bridge on the back. So if there's nothing else we go to the order, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. May I have a second, please? Second. Thank you, Mr. Bartels. All in favor? Aye. Meeting adjourned. Also